Hello everyone and welcome to Zelle. Today's video is an updated guide on Zelle nodes and how you can start your very own basic, super, or BAMF node on the Zelle Cache network. The goal of this video is to make this process as user-friendly as possible using the latest version of our official installation script, version 3. Before we get started, it's important to note that the hardware used for each Zell node must meet the minimum performance requirements for a given tier. Our Zell node dashboard is showing over 500 nodes, a number that continues to grow. However, there are a handful of Zell nodes that have not yet been updated to the latest version of Zell Cache. If you have not yet updated your Zell node, please visit the link in the description for instructions on how to update your node. Otherwise, your node will not be earning its full potential. For everyone else, if you haven't already, now is the time to join the Zell network. Zell nodes will provide the infrastructure and backbone for the next phase of Zell development, including Zell Premium and a feature-packed DAP platform. The Zell node network will power development and innovation for years to come. I hope you're as excited about this as we are. With that said, let's get started with preparing your very own Zell node. All right, to create and maintain our Zell node, we'll be using the Zell Core desktop wallet, which in addition to its unparalleled security features, such as decentralized two-factor authentication, also gives users the ability to launch a full node version of the Zell Cache wallet. The full node wallet provides added functionality like creating a sapling or shielded address for privacy, as well as tools for running your own Zell node. You can download your copy of the Zellcore desktop wallet for free by visiting zellcore.io and clicking download. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using the Windows version, but the same functionality is available for Mac and Linux users as well. If you need help getting your Zellcore wallet up and running, please watch our official Getting Started with Zellcore video. A link is in the description. Once your Zellcore wallet has been installed and secured with D2FA, it's time to launch the full node wallet. To do this, open the Zellcash wallet and click full node. Then click launch full node. Zellcore will begin installing the necessary files for the full node wallet. Once all the files have been verified, click launch Zellcash to open the full node wallet. It'll take some time to sync your wallet to the blockchain. Please be patient throughout this process, which can take up to several hours to complete. If you'd like to speed up this process, please check out our full node quick sync guide for steps on downloading a copy of the blockchain. A link is in the description. Once your full node wallet is 100% synced with the blockchain, you will have unlocked the full potential of the Zell Cash network. Now we can begin the Zell node setup process. First step is to transfer the correct amount of Zell collateral for the type of node you want to run into a transparent address. To do this, simply click on receiving address for the list of addresses in your full node wallet. If you've already set up your full node wallet and have several addresses here, click on the new transparent address button to create a new address just for your node. Then, transfer the exact amount of collateral needed for your node. For a basic node, the amount is exactly 10,000 Zell. For a super node, 25,000. And for a BAMF, 100,000. Please note that these amounts must be exact. In other words, the full amount must be transferred at once as a single transaction. I'll be setting up a basic node, so I will need exactly 10,000 Zell. The amount has already been deposited into this address. Once you've transferred your Zelle, it'll need 15 confirmations before the node can be activated. In the meantime, we can move on to the next step. Now we can create a new virtual private server or VPS for our node. There are several VPS providers available, including DigitalOcean and Volter. We're not endorsing any VPS provider over another, but have a relationship with DigitalOcean that allows us to offer a $100 credit for two months of service through DigitalOcean. 
If you use the link in the description, we receive a small credit from DigitalOcean, which will help support one of our many web services, including the Block Explorer, Zell Node Dashboard, websites, and servers for Zell Core Light Wallet functionality. To set up your VPS through DigitalOcean, you'll want to create a new project. This one is called Zell Cache Node Setup, but you can name it whatever you like. Then we'll need to create a new droplet by clicking the Create Droplet button. Now we can customize our new droplet by choosing our operating system. We recommend using Ubuntu version 16.04, 64-bit. Next, we'll need to choose a plan best suited for our node. The minimum hardware requirements for each node are listed on the official Zell Cache website. Choose the appropriate standard droplet that meets the requirements for your node. For this video, I'll be creating a basic node, so the $20 a month option is best. Next, choose a data center region. If you'll be running multiple nodes, we encourage choosing multiple regions. Click to enable IP version 6. Then choose a uniquely identifiable name for your VPS. Finally, click Create. Once your VPS has been created, you'll need a terminal program like PuTTY to log into it. Use the link in the description to download the 64-bit standalone version of PuTTY. To access your VPS, open PuTTY and paste the IP address to your droplet where it says host name. If you'd like to save this information in PuTTY, give your connection a name and click Save. When you're ready to connect, click Open. A new terminal window will open and you'll receive a warning message asking if you're sure you want to connect. Just say yes and then your terminal will connect. To log in, type the username root and hit enter. Then paste the password that was emailed to you from DigitalOcean. To paste in this terminal, simply right click anywhere on the terminal window. Next, you'll want to change your root password. Be sure to use a strong password with a combination of upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and or special characters. Now that we're logged into our VPS, it's time to prepare the VPS to install the Zell node. We'll begin by creating a new user. To do this, type the command add user space and your username. Then hit enter. Choose a strong password for this user and verify it. The following information is not required. Now that a new user has been added, we will need to give this user pseudo privileges. To give our new user pseudo privileges, type the following command. User mod space tac a capital G space pseudo space and your username. Once this has been done, Log out of the VPS by typing exit or just closing the window. Next, log back into the VPS using the username you just created. Now we're ready to install the Zell Node software. A, a simple Zell Node installation guide is available on the Zell Cache GitHub page. I'll leave a link in the description. The command we need to install the node is listed here. Copy this entire command, then right click paste it into the VPS terminal window and hit enter. This will begin the installation process for our Zell node. The first step of the installation is to verify our IP address. If the address is correct, just hit enter. If not, type N for no, and then type in the correct IP address for your VPS. 
Next, we'll need our Zelle node key. To get our key, we'll need to return to our Zelle Core wallet. By now, our collateral deposit should have had enough time to receive the minimum number of confirmations. Now we can begin to create our new Zelle node. To do this, click on Tools. Then click Open Zelle Nodes Management. Next, click on Setup Guide. This will open the Zelle Nodes Setup Wizard. Now, one of the most important aspects of running any wallet is keeping adequate backups. We highly recommend backing up all addresses. This process will save your private keys in a text file. We recommend saving this file directly to an encrypted thumb drive and store the drive in a safe place. This is your best safeguard against hard drive failures, wallet corruption, or other issues. Next, you'll want to set your automatic logout to never. This can be reset in settings after the Zelle node has been successfully started. The following window shows your current Zelle Core configuration file. Just click on Next. Now, choose the type of Zelle node you are running, Basic, Super, or Banff. Then, enter the IP address for your VPS here. You can simply return to your terminal window and copy the IP address from the installation script. Just select it, then go back to your Zellcore wallet and use Control V to paste the IP address. The next window shows a list of addresses with the correct amount of collateral for a node. To continue, click on the address for the node you want to set up. Here, you can give your node a name. Do not use any spaces when naming your node. When finished, click Continue. On this final window, you will be given your Zelle node key. Click on the key to copy it to your clipboard. Then, switch back over to your VPS to complete the installation. Back here in the VPS, right-click the terminal window to paste your Zelle node key and press Enter. The installation program will update your Ubuntu server, install any required packages, configure your Zelle node, set up log rotation to conserve storage space, and add the Zelle node daemon as a system service. It also enables the firewall and fail to ban, which provides added protection against would-be attackers. This process will take anywhere from 12 to 15 minutes depending on your hardware specs, so sit back and let the process finish. When the installation is complete, press Enter to see the Zelle node information screen. This way, we can monitor if the node is synced to the blockchain. To check the current block height, visit explorer.zelle.cache. When the number of blocks listed on the VPS screen matches the latest block number, your Zelle node is synced with the network. Once your Zelle node is synced with the network, Press Ctrl-C to close the info screen and reboot your VPS by typing the following command, sudo space reboot space tac n and hit enter. This will automatically disconnect your terminal session so you can close that window. After a few moments, reopen your connection and sign in once again using your username and password. After a few moments, we'll want to check the status of our Zelle node by typing the following command. Zelle cache, tac cli, space, get Zelle node status. All one word. Then hit enter. This should display a message saying that it's a hot node waiting for activation. Now that the Zelle node installation is complete, we can return to our Zelle Core wallet to activate our node. To activate, simply click on Save and Continue. Then click Activate my Zelle node. Zelle Core will output whether the node was successfully started or not. 
If you're having trouble getting your node to start, it could be because you do not yet have enough confirmations on your collateral transaction. Use the Block Explorer to ensure that you have the minimum number of 15 confirmations before trying to start your Zelle node. To verify if the node has been activated, we can return to our terminal window and type the following command once again, zellcache tax CLI space get Zell node status and hit enter. If the node displays status four, then your Zell node has been successfully activated. Now it will take a few hours for the status of your Zell node to show as enabled in your Zell core wallet and on the Explorer node list. Please be patient throughout this process. Once your node shows as enabled, then your Zell node will be contributing its resources to the Zell network and begin receiving rewards. Well, my friend, if you've made it this far, then it's safe to say you have successfully started your very own Zell node. You are now part of one of the largest growing decentralized computational networks in crypto. Zell node network is the foundation for future blockchain innovation, and your node is an important link in that chain. For more information about Zell Cash and to become a supporter, please follow the links below. We welcome you to this great endeavor and we look forward to innovating with crypto one block at a time. For Zellcash, it's the Goose saying thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.